You've talked about that several times already. What are some of the biggest leadership lessons you've learned beyond that in your own journey of leadership? You know, I really think that leadership is not management and leadership is fundamentally based on a level of trust that you establish with your teams. Mm. And, and what I mean by that is I think it's when your teams believe that you're not just going to act in your own self-interest, that you are literally going to set a vision and a purpose and a plan and bring people on that so that they can be their best self, so they can have their best career and their best life. I think leaders fail when they, they, they show that they're absolutely selfish and just serving their own self-interest, which is, you know, it's human nature, but that's not the job of a leader, I think. And I think to effectively do that, therefore you have to lead with empathy. You have mm -hmm. to have a high EQ. I think you've got to be able to build trust through transparency and your actions. And to me, there's two ways to lead. There's kind of leading that way and there's kind of leading the other way. <laughs> I, I think what's frustrating for me is you can actually have success and lead poorly. The business can be successful. You might make a bunch of money and get accolades and get promoted and you know have your, your picture in Forbes, but you leave a terrible wake behind you. And I've seen that in action. And when you spend time with people and get them to really talk about who are the people that have impacted their lives and made it better? Who are the people that helped them grow and, and, and flourish? And what were the characteristics of that? It's the type of leadership I describe. And to me, mm -hmm. that's the type of wake I'd rather leave. I'd rather leave that positive karma uh, wake than the inverse. Yeah, that's great. I, I applaud you for, for saying and for recognizing that leaders can be successful and with many different motivations. But I, I honestly believe that our, our, our true A players self-select into the kinds of organizations that you've described because they want, they want to be in an environment where they can thrive and grow and work in an atmosphere where there's, where there's trust and this aligned self-interest that you're talking about. I have a CEO I'm working with who said recently, I, I want this company, and they're a, a hyper growth tech company. I want this company to be a career defining moment for everyone that works here. That's his goal. Now he's going to make a lot of money. Absolutely. He's already got a lot of money. He's going to make more money. But his his reason to be there is to provide a career-defining moment for people. And that's, that's a company that will be successful. 